Welcome to the hidden world of ultrasonic waves. Sound is all around us, and as humans, we're very used to experiencing it and perceiving it. But what we don't often appreciate is that there's a hidden world of ultrasonic waves out there that we just can't hear. Animals such as bats, dolphins, uh, and some insects regularly use this hidden world of sound to hunt for prey and to communicate. And those high frequency sounds are what we call ultrasonic waves. Engineers use ultrasound in many and varied ways. Uh, many of us are familiar with ultrasound scanners that allow us to see babies before they're born. Uh, there are other applications too. For example, we can use the same imaging equipment to look for cracks inside the wings of aeroplanes. Uh, or we can drive the vibration of bubbles uh, to move around violently and clean surfaces for example, scrubbing the surfaces of medical equipment. There have been many advances in these areas in recent years, uh, and our research groups have been looking at uh, acoustic levitation, uh, which enables us to move particles using sound waves. This is an ultrasonic levitator, and it's made up of some quite simple components We've got a sine wave generator that outputs a low amplitude voltage that's fed into this amplifier here, which turns into a higher amplitude voltage, that's then sent to a loudspeaker here. The loudspeaker emits ultrasound, so above the frequency that we can hear, and that sound's then trapped in that chamber where it's further amplified, and it's within that chamber that we're going to levitate some small polystyrene balls. So if I switch the amplifier on, I'm now going to place polystyrene ball into the levitator where it's levitated purely by the power of the sound there's some further particles that levitated in the system. is an ultrasonic assembler, uh, a device we've been creating over the last few years. Uh, it's very similar to the levitator that you saw a few moments ago, uh, but in this case we're moving particles around within a droplet of liquid. Uh, and the, the loudspeakers in this case, and there's 16 of them, have been miniaturized. This allows us to create very precise sound fields uh, and control the position of bacteria and human cells. In this case, we have some polystyrene beads uh, held within the liquid droplet. With this device, we're able to begin to look at doing tissue engineering, creating new structures of, of human cells for replacement tissues. Uh, and with the bacteria, it enables us to detect them uh, at levels where previously we wouldn't have been able to find them very easily. We hope to see you this summer uh, at the exhibition uh, to show you the hidden world of ultrasound.